all the problems in the world would disappear if we could just talk to each other instead of about each other. Can you recall a time you said something that you later deeply regretted? All the times you wish you had thought just a little bit more, just once more, before speaking to avoid the embarrassment you've experienced, or to avoid the relationship you've broken, or the choice that you've picked. Thinking before speaking is an uncommon. Surprisingly, it's human nature to feel the need to contribute to a conversation. It's normal to want to connect to people. And because of this, sometimes it can be hard to stop yourself from blurting out the first thing that pops into your head or believing in the first thing that people share, even without proof or evidence. To think before you speak is a very valuable skill. And in today's video, we'll share one of Socrates' great advice on how to filter information. You want to stick to the end on this video. Because here's Socrates' famous three filter test. Welcome to Untapping Your Potential, where we will share with you motivational stories that will keep you growing and inspire you to take action. Around 469 to 399 BC in ancient Greece, Socrates was highly regarded as a man of immense knowledge and wisdom. And because of this, it wasn't uncommon for people to approach the man for guidance and advice. The great thinker, Socrates, was passing through the markets when all of a sudden, Socrates, he was stopped by an acquaintance. By the look of the young man's face, he seemed eager to share something with the philosopher. Socrates, I have something to tell you, the young man said excitedly. You're going to like this. It's about one of your students. And, but before the man could continue, Socrates held his hand, signaling him to refrain from talking any further. Calm down, Socrates said. That's very kind of you, the philosopher replied, choosing his words very carefully. I appreciate your concern, but before you tell me what it is, I'd like you to pass a little test. The young man was surprised. Clearly, he wasn't expecting this from the older thinker. A little test, he asked. That's right. Before you talk to me about my student, it would be wise for you to take a moment and evaluate what you're going to say. The young man just looked confused, but Socrates continued. The first test is the filter of truth. Are you certain that what you're about to tell me is true? This that you want to tell me. Have you seen or witnessed it firsthand? The young man was taken aback by Socrates' question. He thought about it for a few seconds and said, no, I've actually just heard about it from someone else. All right, young man, you clearly did not pass the first test. You yourself don't know whether this information is true or not. Socrates sighed. Now, let's try the second test, the filter of goodness. Is what you're about to tell me a good statement about my student? The young man just shook his head in shame. On the contrary, no, that's the reason why I wanted to, but Socrates interjected. So you're ready to tell me something negative about my student, but yet again, you're not certain if it's true. The young man was starting to feel a little bit embarrassed of the situation. But Socrates continued on. You may still pass the test because there is one more left. The filter of usefulness. Now, young man, let me ask you. Is this information useful or particularly necessary to me? Defeated, the young man could only shake his head. Well then, as Socrates was heading to walk away, if what you were about to share me is not necessarily true, nor good, nor of any use. Let me ask you, why bother telling it at all? Embarrassed and ashamed, the young man who had tried to spread gossip to the great thinker learned a valuable lesson 
and vow to never spread gossip ever again. Great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. And small minds discuss people. Eleanor Roosevelt. I'm sure you know of someone who is quick to believe the bad things that they hear about good people. Miscommunication, mistrust, frustration, hopelessness, unsolicited anger, heartbreaks. Many of these negative emotions are caused by the fact that two people don't talk to each other. Or when you refuse to properly face one another. Most people believe that by avoiding the other, things will miraculously work out without any form of resolution or closure. It happens every time and anywhere. At the workplace, at home, at school. It happens in friendship, in dating, in families, and even in marriages. It happens all the time in your everyday life. It's so common and relevant. But why do you think most people find it so hard to fix situations like these? Socrates' triple filter test comes in handy in this situation. This becomes an excellent guide if you embody it, both for what you'll say and for what you will listen to. It's an excellent set of guidelines for healthy and constructive communications. Consider how different the world would be if we only sought and produced information that was true, good, and or useful. In the words of Buddha, better than a thousand hollow words is one word that brings peace. Speak up if you come into contact with information that has passed through these filters. And if not, find a tactful way to pass a test. Or better yet, keep it to yourself. Most people stop there, assuming that the story is only about information you spread. The real truth, on the other hand, is about the information you seek and create. Put yourself through Socrates' three filters test and think before speaking anything. Because just as William Arthur Ward once said, before you talk, listen. Before you react, think. Before you criticize, wait. Before you pray, forgive. And before you quit, try. Thanks for watching this video. How would you like to hear more motivational stories on a consistent basis? Do me a favor and support the channel by sharing, comment below, and please make sure to like and hit that subscribe button to get the latest update. Soon, you will be on your way to feeling inspired.